Hi stationary friends! Welcome to Ginger Peachy Pins. Um, if you're new here, my name is Sarah and today, um, as you can see, I have six inks here in front of me. Um, this is a collection that Robert Oster did with Endless Pins. It's an exclusive collection to Endless Pins and it is called Cozy Comforts. Um, I'm really excited to swatch these. Um, I have seen a couple of other people's videos of these inks and they look gorgeous. I have, <laughs> I keep saying this, but um, I've really been trying not to buy inks too much uh, this year because I've just got so many. I need to use them and share them and that kind of thing. But um, they had a really great uh, 4th of July sale <laughs> and these were like less than ten dollars a bottle when it all washed out i'm pretty sure maybe a little over ten but um that was a really good price for these and so i've been wanting to try them and now was the time so um let's jump into it i'm gonna use these cards that they provide i've never used these before but i just thought it would be fun and then later on i'll go back and swatch them for my coloring and my um color decks let me get these lined up here. I'm going to use my Kakimori brass dip nib. I've got water and I've got a towel over here. So, in here. And I've got my little kitty pin wrist from Inca Pet. All right, let's start with we're going to start with a shimmer ink. This is uh, Campfire Crackle. And Robert Oster calls these Shake and Shimmy inks. So there is the label. I'm gonna shake it up. One eternity later. Okay. Okay. That took a while. I know some of you are thinking you should not shake the bottle. You should gently roll it and such. Well, that was <laughs> going slow. It was all kind of stuck down there because this has been sitting for a few days waiting to be used. So. Here we go. Look at how, oh goodness. Look at how, can you see that this looks like really opaque in the bottle? This is such an interesting orange. I have never seen a shimmery orange, I don't believe, that I have, <laughs> I keep throwing it. I have never tried a shimmery orange, I should say, but in there, they seem to be kind of rare. So let's try to do this without me knocking it over or anything. Yeah, lots of bubbles in there, but that's all right. I think I can get enough ink. All right, let's try this out. Let's try dipping it again. This, car this card feels a lot like the uh, Colodex cards. And this is Campfire Crackle. So we'll come back to it in a little while and see if we can see all that shimmer come through. See what it looks like when it dries a little bit. I'm interested to see it. I'm not even really sure what color to call the shimmer. If it's like a gold shimmer that's in the orange, it looks kind of like a an orange shimmer in there. So, or if it's more like a pearl. I don't know. We'll find out. Campfire crackle. Make some space here. All right, number two is old book smell. Looks to be a rusty red or a brownish red. Make sure I got all the shimmer off my nib. All right. There we go. This is oh, old book smell. Let's 
Look at that. That's a gorgeous red. I'm already feeling like this is going to be a collection I'm really going to enjoy for the fall. And maybe I will be able to resist <laughs> buying more inks between now and the fall, and these can be great fall inks. I do have at least one more ink video for you before long because I did get my other ink samples from um, Venice that are ones that I chose from um, other people's ink rainbow videos. So last week I told you I had um, a few more and or it might not be last week. I'm not sure if I'm putting this video out this week or next week. Anyway, in that data analysis video, Ink Rainbow update video, um, I shared some inks that I picked from other people's Ink Rainbow videos, and I said that I had some more coming from Van Ness, and those have arrived, so there will be at least one more video for that. And then a couple of, two different people reached out and offered to send me a few of the inks that they saw that I want to try. So I'm going to be getting a few of those in the mail as well. This is Coffee Date. I didn't say that, I'm sorry. It is not a shimmer ink. It is an interesting beigey brown. It is not a brown, dark brown. It's got a good bit of yellow in it. I wanna call it like a beigey, <laughs> beigey mustardy yellowish brown. It's not as yellow as like Robert Oster Honeybee, but it's not as brown as, I don't think it's as brown as Papier Plume Caramel. I'm gonna have to remember these because I've also got this Colorverse Coffee Break that I haven't tried yet. So I've got Coffee Break and Coffee Date. <laughs> and I'm uh, thinking I'll probably mix those up at some point. All right, this one is called Tea Time. It's a green. This is the one that uh, Simona um, from Simone. She loves this one. All right, I've seen her use it a good bit, so I assume she loves it. And I've been excited to try this one. I don't know why I have, like, green is not one of my favorite colors in the world. I like green. You know, I like green grass and leaves and plants and things. But green inks have just been sort of exciting to me lately. Tea time. I don't know why I'm doing this little squiggle around the edges. Kind of wish I had colored in the little uh, ink bottles on there. What a pretty green. It's what I would consider sort of a classic olive green. Look at that. I'm going to come back and show all of these one more time at the end. Um, once they're for sure dry. This is Stargazing. This is another Shake and Shimmy shimmer ink. I did shake it a minute ago, but now I will try to just roll it in my hands and uh, get that glitter moving around. <gasps> There's a crack in this bottle. You see this? Or maybe it's where someone cut open a package. Oh my goodness. It's not leaking. So... Yeah, the fact that the label is cut right there tells me someone, maybe me, I don't think it was me, opened a pack, opened some, opened a package with a box cutter, obviously, or a pair of scissors, and sliced into this bottle. Could have been me, but I think these were packaged up too well for me to have done that. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that that is a, not a crack. Because I think I would have to divide this ink up into <laughs> lots of little sample vials. I don't think I have any empty ink bottles. Goodness, I'm having a hard time getting this down. Is it because it's a shimmer ink? Stargazing. Those little squiggles look so silly on the page. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it needs, I need to show an extra little thin line, but could just do that with drawing a line, right? I don't know. Do too much sometimes. <laughs> All 
All right, this last one is Soft Kitty, Warm Kitty. I think it's a gray, like a bluish gray. I'll be honest, I'm excited about the name of this ink, but not so much about the gray. <laughs> um, gray is not really my color, but ah, who knows, maybe it will surprise me. If it is wet enough in a pen, then I can enjoy it. All right, let's do my little random squiggles. And this is Soft Kitty Warm Kitty Little Ball of Fur. Raise your hand if you watched The Big Bang Theory. I actually did not watch all of the Big Bang, Big Bang Theory. My parents like stuck with it and they watched it till the very end. I've not seen every episode, especially not the last few seasons, but I did like it. I did like it. So, all right. Should I zoom us in a little bit closer? Does that help? Can you see? Come on. I'm having a hard time with my fingers. All right, so let's go back to this campfire crackle, which I just smeared with something. What did I smear it with? Oh no, I don't know what I'm putting orange ink on. I really don't see much shimmer in there. Do you? Um, yeah, a little bit. It's very subtle. I really hope that this ink is pretty wet in a pen because um, oranges tend to be kind of dry. Oranges, you know, light pinks, yellows, like they, they're not always, but they tend to be dry. And dry inks are not my favorite thing. All right, old book smell. What a pretty red that is. I'm not a big red person, but this has got enough like maroon in it enough like brown mixed in that I really think I could enjoy this and I think it's red enough that I could use it at Christmas time or something and it not look you know it would look festive and not look too red red coffee date oh I'm glad I put that extra little bit there that is not bad what a nice yellowy brown Oh, I look forward to getting that in a pen. <laughs> I wish I had more like autumn colored pens. <laughs> Most of my pens, you know, are pink and purple and blue and uh, not these colors. Look at this olive green. This would perfectly match the Kaveco um, Sport in Dark Olive, which I really like that, that version of the Sport. I bought that one as a going away gift for my boss when he left, left my work. If you ever see this video, I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> and stargazing. That is really pretty. Look at that shimmer. Oh, see, I was thinking that I might want to get a bottle of Diamine Shimmering Arctic Blue, which I really like. It's a bright, bright, happy blue with a silver shimmer through it and some red sheen. But this might um, kind of fill that. This is definitely a stormier blue. It's definitely a little bit greener and darker. But um, those Diamine Shimmer Tastic bottles, shimmering inks, are huge. And I, that's really what holds me back from buying that one is because it's like way too much ink for one person. <laughs> and then here is Soft Kitty, Warm Kitty. That's a really lovely. So maybe in the fall, I will have to ink up six pens with these six inks, or maybe sooner than the fall. I mean, there's nothing wrong with <laughs> using them sooner. Um, but get all these end pens and see how we like them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I believe that this collection is going to continue to be available on Endless Pens. And I do recommend shopping at Endless Pens. If you sign up for their um, emails, 
they have the best sales like and but you have to like they do really good sales if you are not a um I don't know VIP or whatever they call it but if you are one you get an extra discount and they do this thing called a double drop where they drop a bunch of pens inks whatever into a page and if you have a code like it's things that are already discounted and you can get another 20% usually off of those things. So there have been a few different pens and things that I have gotten for like a steal, you know, um, because they just really do a good job with those. But you want to be signed up for their VIP list or, or whatever. I am not sponsored by them in any way. Um, I just enjoy <laughs> enjoy their, uh, their stuff. So anyway, let me know what you think. And um, have you tried these inks? Um, do you enjoy them? Um, yeah. Are you ready for fall? Because I am. <laughs> and, um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It, it really helps out my channel and, um, I appreciate all of you being here. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. I'm just adding this in here. I just realized my little peach dish, it has this hole where you can probably hang it on the wall. And I got this at a, a garage sale. <laughs> um, I could put my dip nib in there oh, and it holds it. Look at that. How exciting. What a fun little uh, way to display or whatever <laughs> my dip nib. Anyway, just had to share. Bye.